the setup would be the same, but the patient doesn't have to sit up as far and you can get to the end range better. Breathe in and out. And then you can get it that way. Another way is, and you can have this inclined a little bit or you don't have to, is you can use a wedge. Now, if you're gonna use the wedge, you have less feedback under your hand and you don't want the patient to feel like they have a brick under them. So you get this part of the wedge resting on the inferior vertebrae. So the concept's still the same, you're just saving your hand, but what you sacrifice in that, you're sacrificing input into your system. So once you understand what's going on with the level, you identify the level, and this time you take the wedge and you put it there. Now you have a free hand, So start a level down, come up, have him sit up above. Now your hand is here to control the descent. So you take a breath in and out, and then you push through that way. But you're controlling it. So it take, it, it, it's, you're, you're preserving your hand, but you have a little less understanding on, on, on what's going on with the system. So you're gonna end up having to have some feedback from your patient. Did that feel okay? It felt better than I thought it was going to. Yeah, and that's, that's, so, and that's what most people say. It actually feels better. It's just you're going to tend to put too much force on it, so, and then it's going to feel like a brick going into the patient's back. So I would do the towel one first before that, but this is an option if you felt you needed to get at a ring or a segment that you wanted to adjust. Afterwards as well, we talked about some of the ring correction, but you can also just use a swim noodle and show the patient for a home program. Sit on up, sorry. You put the noodle under them and then you have them do a posterior pelvic tilt and then have their arms here and then have them raise up and do breathing into the Tell. Of course, you're going to see if they need an adjustment here as well as far as a ring correction. And they may end up, if they end up shifting this way and they close down more on one side, you can have them shift, say, can you breathe into my hand? And part of this exercise is when you raise your arms overhead, you're not going to arch your back. I want you to focus it on your thoracic spine. Take a couple breaths in, come on back down reset and visualize something functional that you do as you're raising overhead, not hyperlordosing the spine and getting mobility through the th thorax. Good. And then come on back down. So that's one you can give the patient to do five or 10 minutes. So it's a nice, the swim noodle is easier. A foam roller is a little aggressive and people tend to waterfall over it. And they do all sorts of horrible things to themselves with the foam roller and interpret it as good. And some people, you know, actually have good results with it. But a swim noodle, it's not that expensive and it's comfortable for patients. They can also use a roll it, rolled up towel. So if I have him at an incline push-up and I think that he's too flat through his thoracic spine, then I can say, okay, feel my finger here. I just need you to bring this point here. And I need you to bring your scapula a little bit closer. You're protracting a lot. So bring them a little bit closer. Good. So you feel a point here and point here. Now I want you to don't let this point drop. Keep that pressure into my hand while you do a push-up and go halfway. Good. And hold. And then come back up again. So it's for that person with the opposite problem as they're working it. So they can use a TheraBand but they have to learn to have good neuromuscular control. And again, you may have to have them shift one way or the other when they're doing it.